Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the top five five-star weapon for the new Pyro character, Alechino. Alechino is based on the attack percentage as well as the HP percentage. The kit is a little similar to what Uto kit is. The more HP uh, provides her more attack, and the lesser HP goes, the multiplier of the attack goes you know 2x or 3x a similar processing what we have with the Huta. so in this video the top five weapons the deepest weapons that all are currently in the game and maybe some of them are you have in your inventory so starting with the number five on number five we have the calamity calamity is the shane signatures weapon shane is totally based on the attack percentage and shane is a support character but this weapon is not only for the support characters this weapon is actually actually very good. This weapon provides you a tons of like around around 1500 attack and that is just insane. In the base attack this weapon gives you 741 base attack the highest in the game and in substrate this will just give you 16.5% attack. That's combined is very very high like around around maybe 900 to 1000 and in the Refinement gains 12% elemental damage bonus obtained consummation for 20 seconds after using an elemental skill causing attack to increase by 2.2% per second. Yes guys, and this can be stacked up to maximum 6. When the character is equipped with this weapon is not on the field, consummation is attack increased doubled. That is just not gonna mill up. Uh, don't, uh, don't nothing gonna ha have benefit on the Alechino because she's a DPS and she always gonna be uh, on the field. But guys, if you don't wanna spend any money, any wishes, or anything on the Alechino weapons, and you already own this weapon, like you have this weapon in your inventory, the Calamity, Calamity is gonna be very good weapon for Alechino. Not the best, but a very good weapon that you can still enjoy your Alechino on the field. So on number five, guys, we have the Calamity. Well guys, on number 4, it's one of my favorite weapons, it's been in the game since very very long time, I think since the launch, the Skyward Spine. Skyward Spine is very versatile weapon, gives you a little bit crit rate, a little bit energy, a little bit attack speed and a good amount of attack. This having a base attack of 674, energy recharge of 36.8%, energy recharge is always good for any DPS or support character. In refinement, this will give you on R1. This will give you increased crit rate by 8% and increased normal attack speed by 12%. Why is normal attack speed is beneficial to Alechino? Because Alechino is based on the normal and charge attack. When you perform the elemental skill, you perform lots of normal and charge attack, and in that case, this perk is just gonna be very good with Alechino. Also, when the normal and charge attack hits on opponent, have 50% chance to trigger a vacuum blade that deals 40% attack as damage in small AoE. Unless you know already performs charge attack in kind of a AoE, she does create a AoE pyro AoE where she marked, tagged, and deals damage in a small AoE. And add on to that, you're getting on one more AoE. I think this weapons fits with the kit. Uh, with the kit of Alechino and you're gonna enjoy Alechino with this weapon so still uh, again guys if you have this weapon and you don't want to spend any wishes any money uh, on the Alechino weapon you can fully enjoy Alechino with this weapon because this weapon is very very good and matches perfectly with the kit of Alechino so on number four guys we have the Skyward Spine Oh yeah, guys, on number 3 we have these Remodel Jade Wing Spear. We all know how strong this uh, this weapon as a for a DPS character. This weapon is a very strong DPS weapon. Uh, this is a Shao signature weapon. Everyone knows about this weapon. This weapon been in a game since the launch and Shao is incredibly awesome and powerful with this weapon. This weapon is on the third number now. But this has been ha, always be, been in the top two list. But now, after coming the Alechino's signature weapon, this weapon com, comes to the number three, guys. 
But yes, this weapon is very, very strong. On base attack, this weapon gives you 674 base attack with a 22% crit rate. We all know crit rate and crit damage is how crit, uh, how much important is crit rate and crit damage for a DPS character. And character like Alecino, Alecino is gonna be a very good with this weapon. You will perform some normal attack, you will perform some charge attack. So this weapon's attack, refinement ability attack will gonna stack up to maximum 7 seconds. And you can have all the benefit from this weapons from 0 to 100. On in refinement increase attack by on hit increase attack by 33.2% for 6 seconds and you can max check this to 7 times. And yes guys, when you have the full possession of the attack, you can also maximize the possible sack and damage increase by 12%. This weapon is super super strong in terms of being a very awesome uh, DPS weapon. So if you already own this weapon, you have maybe you have a bunch of this weapon like 2 to 3 Primordial Jade because this is in the game and in the standard banner since the launch. You probably don't have to invest any money on any other weapon. Uh, I'm gonna tell you on the second number or the first number you don't really have to go for the signature weapon either uh, but still this weapon is very very strong and you can use this weapon on Alecino blindly like you don't have to debate on thing a second why you should not this weapon is very very good on number three guys we have the primordial jade wing spear okay guys now comes to the number two guys before talking about the number two weapons the top two weapons i already to uh, told you guys alishino is based on the attack percentage and the hp percentage majorly on the attack percentage but hp is included somewhere in the passive talents and the overall kit so both of these things the attack percentage and the hp percentage is very important so keep that in mind provide her Give her maximum amount of HP and attack that you can give and also keep the balance of the critter and crit damage. Your Alex, you know, gonna be blast on the field. So number two, guys, we have the Staff of Oma. Guys, this is just perfect weapon. Very close to being a signature weapon of Alechino. It's also red and Alechino is also a pyro character. This weapon is a signature weapon of Wu Tao and I already told you Wu Tao and Alechino kit are kind of similar having a similar processing and the uh, you know gameplay so this weapon give base attack of 608 and now this time this weapon giving crit damage of 66.2% in the refinement also HP is increased by 20% so this one's giving the HP this is weapon being the only weapon giving the HP beside the signature weapon additionally provides an attack based bonus based on the Wielder's max HP, so the more you have HP on your wielder, the main character, the more you'll get the attack from this weapon. And when the wielder's HP is less than 50%, this attack bonus increased by recently 1% of the max HP. And that's why, that's what I'm talking about guys. You eventually get the, your RH, you know, below 50 when you are in the battle, cause she also eat her own HP like Uta and Furina so this weapon is gonna be very very good so if you don't want to spend any 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 money on the signature weapon you don't have to worry about uh, this weapon is very close like a, a little like 99 90% close to being the signature weapon of Alishina the weapon is super cool guys super cool on number two guys we have the staff of Oma Alright guys, on number 1, we have the Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon is the signature weapon for Alecino and it is uh, kind of similar to the Primordial Jade. Primordial Jade giving you 22% crit rate here. Same with the Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon giving you 22% crit rate here and 674 base attack. No crit damage. This weapon is giving you the crit rate. Uh, the best thing is, the best thing is the refinement ability guys. The grants a bone bond of life equal to 18% HP 18% of the max HP when a charge attack hits an opponent. This effect can be triggered up to once every 14 seconds. In addition, when the equipping character has a bond of life, they gain 12% damage bonus. If the value of bond of life is greater than the greater than or equal to 20% of the max HP, they gain an additional 24% damage bonus. Ha, huh. okay guys. 
so this event first of all is giving you the a grand of bonus grand grants a bond of life this is this event is giving you a perk that's called bond of life and when you perform the charge attack this just basically gives you the more damage bonus so you can perform your next charge attack with high damage bonus based on your of course your wielder's max hp that's a simple and you know brief explanation i can give about the refinement ability so this weapon is giving you a perk and then using that perk you can gain additional damage bonuses based on your wielder's max hp so guys that weapon is going to be very very good of course this weapon is a signature weapon and this weapon is made according to the uh, kit of the arlecchino the next thing is the rumors are coming that this weapon having a sight sight effect that's only can be can be activated when you use this weapon the sight effect cannot be activated with any other weapon if you use a staff of oma if you use a primordial jade wing spear the sight effects not gonna be activated beside that all the red flares and everything are there but your weapon is not gonna convert into a sight if you want that effect you have to wish on the crimson moon crimson moon looks superb the sight effect and everything is just looks insane i hope that effect goes with every weapon when she whichever weapon she wields but that not just make a sense because primordial jade is a green weapon if she uses and turns this weapon into a red sight or a green sight uh, i i want the i want the effect of the green sight but if she just converted the color also then that's i think that thing does not make a uh, much sense one more weapon i want to mention guys before closing up the video is the staff of the scarlet sense many are saying that this one is going to be very good with the arlecchino but i tried and i also have created a video using this weapon with the hu tao and this weapon does not work with the kit of hu tao because this weapon works with the kit uh, with the character who uses elemental skill as a elemental skill Uto elemental skill is just normal attacks and charge attacks same goes with the arlecchino arlecchino elemental skill is also a charge attack and the normal attacks but we'll see when uh, when i get arlecchino and i'll use his weapon on arlecchino we we'll see we'll see ki if this weapon is work capable on or uh, usable with arlecchino or not but i tried this weapon with uto and it's not made for uto Hi right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you like the video. This is my list for the top five five star weapon for Alish. You know, if you still have any question, you can ask me in the comment. If uh, you think I said something wrong in this video, you can correct me in the comment also. If you like the video, guys, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we'll meet in the next video, guys. Till then, bye bye, take care.